what is next for Ryan Garcia? Why well, they drop in David Haney three times and defeating David Haney? What is next for him? Well, he should give David Haney a rematch. And I'll tell you why, because both said in their post fight interview that they will like the rematch, but Ryan Garcia will completely destroy David Haney once again. And I'll tell you why, even though David Haney has way more experience, skill, and boxing IQ, Ryan Garcia's speed and power is just way too much for David Haney, as we just seen. So again, in the rematch, I truly believe that Ryan Garcia will knock out David Haney. Now, the next fight for Ryan Garcia is a rematch with Javante Davis. Since as Ryan Garcia says that he wants to rematch with Javante Davis and Oscar De La Hoya said that the rematch will be at 145 and I truly believe that Ryan Garcia will knock out Javante Davis at 145 and I'll tell you why because Javante Davis is way too small for 145 even though Javante Davis already knocked out Ryan Garcia and has way more skill than Ryan Garcia I truly believe that Ryan Garcia just has way too much strength and way too much power for Javante Davis at 145. Now I'm not too sure about Ryan Garcia going up to 147 I understand if he can't make 140 or not even at a catch weight then it's best for him to go up to 147 but the reason i say that it's not a good idea is because of the fighters at 147 because you got fighters like jaron boots and his terence crawford and mario barros who are very skilled and who are not small whatsoever so it's not like ryan garcia is going to be fighting fighters who are men for 147 he's going to be fighting fighters who are prepared and who are very skilled at 147 so realistically what's next for ryan garcia i would like to see him have one more fight at 140 and against isaac cruz just to get more big names under his belt not to mention that that fight will be so entertaining to watch not only because of both men fighting style but also also because if Ryan Garcia wins that fight, he gets the opportunity of becoming a world champion in the 140 pound division. But if Ryan Garcia does decide to take on the challenge and go to a higher weight class, even though there's bigger and stronger guys, I still do believe and I still have confidence in Ryan Garcia as I do believe that he'll stand a chance using his speed and power as he just showed against Devin Haney that those two things are enough to keep up with the competition and to beat boxing skill and boxing IQ.